Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is Jason coming back at you with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video today, guys. I am very, 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 very excited. I'm very, very happy. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling amazing. You know why? Because finally I found the next meta that would destroy freaking Amazonas and freaking Sylvans. So, and uh, I have been so happy finally because somebody needed to release this deck to its full potential. And for you guys, for those of you guys that like uh, Bujings, oh guys, you're about to have a blast. Because this is getting rid of meta like fucking crazy. It's tier 1, you guys judge, it depends on you, but it's getting rid of them. I am on legendary and I am kicking butt with this deck. So this is the deck that I pulled together. Um, obviously, obviously, you know how it work. I'm not gonna overpay for for decks like for for any amount of like money that for any 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 sort of just more than I need to pay for it. I'm not gonna pay for. I'm just gonna play free to play. And this is the proof of it. This is a Bojin deck. What's what's going on with this deck? You can see, guys, that I'm playing it with Rex, Rex Raptor. And I'm playing Titan Showdown. I've seen this uh, deck played before. Yes. But it's not played to its full potential just because you don't have Titan Showdown. Which, which it does. Whichever player has double or more life points takes double the damage. You know what that means, right? Title, title, showdown, Titan showdown basically works perfectly with the ties of the Breton. Uh, I know guys, this, and I got those three cards off of the, uh, off of the, uh, just lock, like new packs and just open it up with just your regular, uh, gems, but I got three of them, luckily. Anyways, but if you don't have it, uh, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of very, very important that you got at least three of the, uh, uh, Ties of the Breton, because that's how you want to open up. With Ties of the Breton, and also with uh, Bojin Makisushi, Maki, Makasushi, Makasushi. So, or any of your uh, Beast Warriors uh, Bojins. Obviously, I only got one of Yamato and one of Arasura. I'm going to try to get those two because I'd rather, I'd rather you guys to play two of the Arasura Two of the Yamatos and uh, one of the uh, Makasushi because the, its effect is not is not that great. The everything else, this one I just put it there as an option because sometimes your opponent wants to wants to destroy uh, your uh, your monster with effects, either with monster effects or with a uh, trap or spell effects. Uh, this one is there so I just can get rid of some monsters, some very annoying monsters. And uh, this one is just so good. I recommend you to have at least two in your deck. Sinju, because it came to us, man. New Bojin, Bojin uh, reinforcements came to us, man. And this is busted. This is the new, the next big thing, I'm telling you. So, and then oh, obviously uh, Centipede. Just because they've been running so much back row. That's the reason why I have two. Realistically, realistically, you should be able to take control of the back row with, with this one. Obviously, um, Fire Formation Gyoku works with your uh, beast warriors so that gives them a boost uh and you know i got two of them only right i got i got one of those chinchengu uh replica which is you know it's basically like uh your uh gyoku obviously it doesn't give the boost so if you actually have three of the uh gyoku i recommend you to run three of those and obviously because i'm running all spells i'm running a uh, uh, trap hole uh, and this is the uh, this is the heart of the of the Bojin deck right here, Ophidian, Ophidian. So basically, what it says is, let me just remove this one. I, I guess, guys, you know it. During your main phase, you can send this card from the hand to the graveyard, then target one Bojin monster you control. It can attack your opponent directly. So with Titan Showdown, you are already gonna cast double the damage. And if you attack directly with any of this, and you can, there is no limit of how many you can activate on a turn. If you have two, you got game. Doesn't matter. They can have anything they want to have. You can just get over them. And obviously you need to seal, you seal their back row and just get over that. So it should be very, 
very simple. Uh, this is a very great deck. It's been winning me a lot of duels on meta. And uh, I want to bring you guys this deck because I'm trying to focus on uh, decks that don't have a lot of um, a lot of money involved, I guess. And even though I know that it's got three types of the Breton, and I, I know that, and I mean, there's there's actually nothing that I can do about that. But, you know, try to put it together and and see the magic works, man, because this Bojin is the next the next big thing, I'm telling you. And I, I just want to bring you, you guys know me, I just want to bring you decks that are actually, you know, competitive, that you can actually use on your ranks. That's why I haven't been able to post any videos recently. Because there isn't, there wasn't anything for a while. It's just, you know, your uh, main event, uh, I mean, your, uh, yes, your main uh, box, main event box, which is just repeating cards that we already have. Um, and then the new mini box with the, um, we also repeated cards that we already had, which, you know, and obviously you can only buy so many of them. So, and I'm trying to focus on decks that you can actually play with that are not so expensive. Like this one is, is, I know it's, it's hard to find three bread ones, but if you got them, you should be good. So title showdown. This is against an Amazonas deck. This was just nuts, man. So if you see, I start with Bojan. I go with Ties of the Breton. Treasure's uh, Trap holes in my hand, so that's a plus. I went ahead and activate both effects. I'm going to activate that card, which is... I forgot, sorry. Sinju and uh, Centipede. Obviously, he starts. You know, the common starts. Just Amazonas Princess. Amazonas Assault, put face down, put face down, put face down, centipede, obviously they're not putting, uh, you know, trap cards on the center anymore because they know they'll figure it out, so I, when I use the effect of my Aphodian, go for 3800 to the face, and then go ahead and blow that up because I don't need it anymore, he actually activates Assault, and guess what? He had princess for the bullshit and I went on and I attacked with the other monster and boom that is 900 to the face That was just beautiful that was just so so easy and beautiful This is busted for those of you guys that have the three types of a burden Try this out, and if you got two Yamatos and two Arasudas, man, oh man, at least if you got two at least, man, you should be set, you should be good, like I explained to you before. You should be uh, winning your duels. Uh, unfortunately, I did not um, concentrate too many on the Bujins because I thought they were not very um, valuable. Now, obviously, as, as you move on in life and new cars and new decks are coming out, now they start to catching up. They finally, Konami, I think finally Konami understands that we want cards that are related to what it's been already released. So, but anyways, same thing. First turn, Ties of the Breton. Go for my two other monsters. Exactly the same car. Just in case that he wants to attack. And centerpiece. He goes face down, chair of greed, and a face down. I use centerpiece, get rid of that back row. At this point, I got game. He didn't realize he had a sphere of bola, and he didn't uh, realize. I think no, he, I'm sorry, he didn't have a sphere of bola. He didn't realize that the second attack was the, the that first attack was gonna take 3,800. So I think that's, and again, that's why Titus Showdown is so good with this deck. Because after immediately you have activate Titus of the Breton, you, you already have the, uh, the skill. So that was, that is, that is just something. I've seen play this deck before, but I haven't seen it play with, you know, Titan Showdown, which like a lot of us just ignore some of these skills because they're, at, at least we think that they don't work with anything else. But man, Titan Showdown, it's, it's a beast. It's 
So this one is the last one that I wanted to show you. I was lucky enough to actually get that boat in my hand. I was like, oh shit. And again, that's why I'm telling you guys, if you can grab two of those of each, do it. This deck will be a lot more consistent. Obviously, I put together it's not perfect, but even though it's not perfect, it's killing, it's it's definitely just destroying the competition. Obviously, right here I go my my effect. Immediately I put myself into Titan Showdown. Use Yamato. Same thing, just in case he wants to attack me. And then use board. I took away board just because he's, he wasn't doing anything for me. I needed to get into life, uh, into those life points. So and right there he just leaves his opens his his field right open. There you go. He got the sphere ball. He let this one this one go, not thinking that it was actually gonna cast double damage. He completely forgot about Titan Showdown, and now he activated had to activate his Ebola. He thought he was gonna survive. No, nope, he's on defense, and then goes for the 1900, and he's out. Anyways, guys, I hope you like the videos. I hope you can, guys, put the deck together. It's been a lot of fun, and it will certainly help you on this uh, messed up level up uh, legend or platinum or everything like that. And if you got the cards that I don't have, man, be welcome to play. If you have three Gyokus, use them. If you have two, three Yamatos, use them. They're a lot better than the ones that I'm running. So anyways, guys, I hope you have a great day and I hope you enjoy the video. Bye-bye.